Timo and Tammy time together. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well this sunny and beautiful day. Well, it might not be sunny where you are, but it is where I am. Regardless, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Football Therapy and welcome to today's video where I'm talking about the potential centre forward partnership of Tammy Abraham and Timo Werner. That's right, Timo x Tammy. It could work. A lot of people are speculating that the arrival of Timo Werner is trouble for Tammy Abraham, who has done so well this season. A bit of a feel-good story, not perfect, underperforming his XG ever so slightly, but a feel-good story nonetheless. Hailed from the, the academy, knows what it means to be Chelsea, and really a lot of Chelsea fans are still backing him to continue his goal scoring and do even better for the Blues. And of course there's Timo Werner who we all know is often deployed out on the left, a converted winger who often plays centre forward as well. What does that mean? Is it going to be Pulisic, Werner, Ziyech? Is Tammy going to go to the bench, to the B team? I'm not so sure and I'm going to explain why in today's video. So if you want to strap yourselves into more daily Chelsea Football Club content then see that you subscribe to this channel Football Therapy and make sure that you do hit that all important bell notifications icon. Why not help me out by dropping a like on this video as well, please? That would be nice. All right, let's get into it. Right, Tammy Abraham, Chelsea's number nine. Bit of a feel good story this season. Hails from the academy, did so well on a couple of loan spells in the championship, breaking all sorts of records. Also had a taste of Premier League experience with Swansea. A bit more of a negative one, but it's all part of the learning experience. Came in this season and the 22 year old has scored a bunch of goals. 13 Premier League goals and 4 assists to be precise, including a lovely little hat trick in there. Now like I said at the top of the video, Tammy has slightly underperformed his XG and has frustrated at times but he played for injury for a portion of the season and probably has been overplayed generally because Frank Lampard has not really relied on the alternatives in Michy Batshuayi and Olivier Giroud when probably he should have played Giroud a little bit more. Now it's at this point of the video I want to let you guys know that personally I think Timo Werner could play really well with Giroud for the similar reasons why he could play well with Tammy but I'm going to focus on Tammy and Timo not because of the word play there but because they're both young and they're both the future of Chelsea and how they could work in tandem. So yeah a lot of people are speculating that Tammy Abraham might be in trouble because Timo Werner is now in the house. I'm sure you've all seen the news over the past sort of few days that an agreement between Timo Werner and Chelsea Football Club has been struck. It's just the case of now Chelsea triggering the buyout clause to Leipzig and both clubs announcing the move. You should also know that Timo Werner is an absolute ice cold marksman goal scorer. This season in the Bundesliga, he has 25 goals, 12 goals more than Tammy Abraham. And he's got eight assists on top as well, so he's really pushing out incredible numbers. A couple of years older than Tammy Abraham, Timo Werner has a little bit more experience, certainly much more playing in the top flight. Like I said, a converted winger because people saw this kid and they were like, this dude is scoring loads of goals, much like Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, like to move him closer to the goal, so he scores more goals, and he scores more goals. We all know Chelsea have a problem in converting chances. This is a sentiment that Frank Lampard has echoed throughout the season. He wants more ruthlessness in the box, so people are speculating, well, if Chelsea have got a bunch of good wingers, no one's going to move Hakim Ziyech off that right wing. Who are we going to play on the left wing? Pulisic? He was out here scoring perfect hat-tricks when in form and fit. Are you really going to drop him? Truth is, probably. Timo Werner is likely to play off the left and Tammy Abraham is likely to keep his place up front and I'm going to tell you why. First and foremost, Frank Lampard believes in Tammy Abraham. This is something he said also throughout the season, how he's looked at him, he looks what he can do, he's looked at his player profile, his build, his style, and he thinks he could do exactly what he needs for his team and his project. Now, Tammy hasn't refined the attributes of his game that he needs to, to be this number nine that helps Chelsea. But the truth is, he can be this kind of focal figure, this hold-up striker, this all-round nine that actually supercharges Timo Werner and helps him scoring goals. Werner plays very well off a target man, much like Eden Hazard played better. I don't really want to compare Hazard to Werner because Werner's far more direct than Hazard. Hazard's more a little bit dribbly and a creator. Werner's very much a sort of 
dagger school goals let's go man have a look at these couple of graphics where i show basically how tammy the more focal striker will be playing in timo Vern as a second striker shadow striker partner left winger basically the ball needs to go up to tammy abraham tammy abraham needs to use his incredible height and newly forged strength and basically receive possession and play in timo Werner to score the goals and it won't just be about playing timo Werner. it will be about starting off a combination where the ball can actually come back to tammy for him to score well i showed before the sonar map of timo Werner's passes they're all pretty much coming from the left wing he could basically occupy that space run into that space after an initial combination with Tammy and then play back in Tammy to score a goal. Really it's about winning the first ball in this situation. Frank Lampard does like possession football and he does like to combine and progress up but he also likes the ability to go long. Now Tammy Abraham hasn't been the best hold up striker. People think he'd be amazing at it because he's so tall and he's kind of built potentially well to receive the ball but he was still more of a run in behind try and combine with his mates while progressing up the pitch. Frank's going to need him to develop a little bit more into a sort of Didier Drogba type. And he can do it. He's young, he can run well, he's got football intelligence, Tammy Abraham. Like I said, Frank does believe in him. He does need to bulk up. He looks a little bit bigger already after lockdown, like he has been on the weights a little bit. Probably knowing that some reinforcements are coming uh, for the front line, so he's got to put on his A game. And if that's true, then he can develop himself into a better hold-up striker. It won't just be necessarily holding the number 9 spot and Werner playing in the left wing. This will offer the opportunity to play the diamond again that Frank Lampard played in pre-season and wanted to try out. He could play Hakim Ziyech in the 10 behind both Timo Werner and Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham tried out the diamond in the pre-season with Michy Batshuayi. Didn't really work, but it was two centre forwards that were trying for the first team spot and it was a little bit selfish from both of them. But at this point, you've got someone like Zierschen behind, you've got someone like Werner and Tammy knowing that the season started. Tammy's already known he's got the backing of the manager. Werner will absolutely know he's got the backing of the manager because of the big price tag and what Frank Lampard's been saying to him. Maybe they could learn to forge a relationship from there and start combining well. Werner will be happy playing as a left striker, occupying a little bit more of the left channel or a left winger where he does his best work but also if needs be he can be deployed as a center forward and then you could have Pulisic on the left and of course Ziyech on the right and then you know pick your number 10 or number 8s behind that Mason Mount whatever it goes on. A lot of people don't believe in Tammy Abraham and I can understand how he's frustrated at times but the truth is the people who know the most about strikers really do back him and I'm not saying that's me by any means I'm just a Chelsea fan like the rest of you but something that I've said before and I want to echo it again on Match of the Day when Gary Lineker, Ian Wright and Alan Shearer were all talking about him, three of the Premier League's greatest strikers, they were all talking about positive facets of his game and how even though he's just missing these like moments, he could be incredible. Like I said before, he's just underperforming his XG, which is frustrating from a goal scorer's standpoint because you look at someone like Timo Werner, he's got a very high XG, but he's outperforming his XG because he's an absolute ruthless uh, striker in the box. Now Tammy Abraham, you could say, oh, he's underperforming it, he's not so good, but the truth is, he's underperforming what is a high XG. Now that's because he's getting into the good positions, he's doing the right stuff, the intelligent stuff as a centre forward, he's making those runs, he's combining in those spaces, and he's occupying the right space at the right time, like an intelligent striker. That should all be positive and being just 22 years old and already used to scoring loads of goals throughout his career, he scored over 100 first team goals as a 22 year old. That's incredibly impressive, granted at a lower level most of it, but still a physical league of the championship, a demanding league, he's got it in his consciousness, he's used to scoring goals. At a young age, with the, all the right things that he's doing, he's so close. By the time he gets to Timo Werner's age, a couple of years, hell, maybe even sooner, he could be more of a complete number nine, the kind of player that Timo Werner really benefits from playing next to. So this is an incredible opportunity for Tammy. Yet again, he's been given another chance at really high stakes obviously coming in last year granted there was a transfer ban but he didn't have to take the number nine shirt it could have been Batshuayi it could have been world cup winner Olivier Giroud but no it was Tammy now again Chelsea have had problems scoring goals he's done well well enough just well enough probably to keep his spot but Chelsea can bring in elite players like Ziyech and Werner and yet again for me he's probably going to keep his spot it's another big chance for him to raise his level yet again prove more 
people wrong that he is the man for Chelsea, that he's Chelsea's number nine, he's, that he's overcome adversity, injury, racist comments, abuse, and he's scored goals. I think he can go up another level. I think Frank Lampard probably believes the same. He always says he believes in him. So I think we can see most probably Timo and Tammy time together in tandem. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, what do you guys think? Have you enjoyed this video I've provided you today? Do you agree? Drop a like on the video, please. Make sure you get down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this potential partnership. I'm keen to hear it. Also, you're welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that's happening very soon indeed, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby